How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble and today we are going to be looking at yet another Arsenal legend, Robert Perez, right? And before I go into that, I just want to apologize for the gameplay video quality that you guys will see later on. So there was some problems with the OBS, so the quality was not as good as I want to. But I have rectified that so in the next video it should be better. And I am also not sure whether I can review as effectively as last time because the more I play FO4 and the more I forget about FO3 so whenever I go back to play FO3 I'm really struggling nowadays nowadays I can't even beat like silver A that kind of rank already so it's really really tough for me to review but nonetheless I'll try my best to review as well as I possibly can okay so we'll start off by looking at the stats of Robert Perez he is 18574kg which is the kind of build that I like for my players Got nice strength to him 86 Good stamina as well 87 Sprint is not as fast as Henri but it's considered fast 93, 92 Jump is decent as well 84 Agility is good, balance is good Dribbling is good, ball control is good And then if you look at his other stats Crossing is phenomenal, it's 94 Short passing is good, finishing is not bad at like 84 and then long passing is 86, short power is 85, long shot is good, volley, short curve, free kicks, penalties, positioning is good as well 87 and then vision is 89, reaction is 88, aggression is 72. So if you look at his stats right, other than a few of the defensive one and haters, every single stat is above 81 eh? so you don't see a lot of whites. They are all blue and dark blue so that is a good sign. His styles of course he has the crosser which is important. He's got the tanker because of his high strength. Wing player because he's fast so all the good stuff are in there. Work rate because he's primarily a left mid right mid and not a left wing right wing. So he's more withdrawn. So his work rate is just mid mid. Traits he's got a finesse shot which is important and ball passer. Price wise, he's not as expensive as when he was at his peak, 2.4 billion. Now it's 1.9 average, 1.6 billion, which means that he is considered one of the lower priced world legend, right? So let's now go into the in game analysis to see if it is worth it. Right, so the first thing that I noticed when I use PRS is that he feels like a more traditional kind of winger to me. I'm not exactly sure how he plays in real life. Because I don't really watch a lot of Arsenal back in those days But he seemed to prefer hugging the touchline more compared to cutting inside But that being said right, the first thing I notice about him when I play him is his agility He is incredibly easy to control Due to a few things of course, his high agility, his skinny body His high dribbling, ball control as well as balance that means that moving about on the pitch with him is really a breeze it's really easy to twist and turn with him and that is so so important of course when we go to fo 4 all these things will become even more important because things like dribbling and ball control you can't really tell the difference in fo 3 but in fo 4 is going to be a big big factor but nonetheless Perez still moves around really easily in fo 3 it's got a good pace to him as well with high acceleration 93 or 92 I think to really help him to pull away from the defender so there were a few times where I literally just hold down the sprint button and he will outpace the defender so that's important for your winger as well you want your winger to be able to outpace the defender so that he can put in a cross okay next thing that I can talk about is his crossing stat so it is super high 94 I think one of the highest in the game really I think so although like I said just now in FO3 Crossing is another stat that you really can't tell the difference between someone with a good crossing stat and someone with a bad crossing stat. So if I stick maybe someone with a crossing stat of 40 on the wings, I think he will still cross as well as some somebody like Robert Perez. So this is one of the, the features of the old FO3 meta. Nonetheless, I have nothing to complain about Perez crossing ability because most of his crosses are on target and I did manage to convert a few of them that is also a good thing as well although he plays like a more traditional winger role I think he performs similar to Ryan Giggs in real life something like that he does pop up with 
a pretty consistent amount of goals so i played six games which is like the only games that i play in level 3 per week nowadays just six a week he scored five goals in six games and also including three assists which means that he was involved in eight goals in six games which is a very decent output for a winger he's also got a nice strength to him okay decent at the very least 80 something one okay which means that again he is one of those players that you will find very hard to dispossess reason because high strength high balance skinny body these three factors is such a potent mix in this fo3 right that if you have these three features it's very difficult for defenders to dispossess you and of course his weak foot is 5-4 which means that he can do equally well or almost equally well with both his left and his right foot on the weakness right if you look at his stats uh, as well as his general gameplay uh, he don't really have any outright weakness to him other than the very poor heading stats but that is really not important for a winger because most of the time we are not relying on our wingers to score headers it's good to have the bonus but it's not a prerequisite other than that right like i said just now at the start every other offensive stats are above 80 making him a very very well-rounded player overall i will give him an 8.5 out of 10 okay because i feel that robert Pires seems to be a very underrated player judging by his price since he is almost a henri like in terms of physical build height and body type that sort of thing he also likes to hug the touch line which would suit crosses really well and also chips in with a healthy amount of goals and assists consistently is he worth it okay i would say it's a resounding yes okay if you are somebody who cannot afford the more expensive wingers like ultimate legend Henri or even ronaldinho or other new world legends that i haven't even looked at I would say you can consider Robert Pires world legend because he is relatively cheap 1.9 billion by today's standard when you have a 1 trillion world legend Michael Owen plus 8 floating around in the market 1 billion 1.9 billion is not much so I would say he's a very very affordable option since he has almost no weakness in the game and if I was at my peak in FO3 back when I was like a legend A200 plus I think I can really perform much better with Robert Pires I should probably be able to kill most team with his insane crossing compared to now when I can't really cross anymore because in level 4 we can't really play crossing right and that is all I have for this review video I hope you guys enjoy give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy my review video both the FO3 and the FO4 one and also hit the subscribe button for more FIFA online content do check out our Facebook fan page as well Double Pebble I do post some updates and tidbits or information from time to time over there. I'll see you next time.